Math curriculum in China is globally known for being fast-paced, but in this cram school in Beijing, by achieving high-achieving goals, these 13-year-olds are learning binary equations years ahead of their school curriculum. Almost all my classmates are attending these schools. If I don't come, they will learn before me, and I'll become much less competitive. With such intensity in learning, four out of five students will become nearsighted by the time they reach high school, according to state-run media. I spend all my weekend in cram schools. Sometimes I have difficulty following the teacher, but all I can do is try my best. Chinese students take a middle school entrance exam at the age of 12, a high school entrance exam at 15, and then their college entrance exam at 18. In all three exams, math performance is key. China's test-oriented math teaching may bring high scores, but some say what really counts is whether you can internalize the knowledge. And honestly speaking, I forgot most of them today. Despite the controversies, Chinese students perform consistently among the world's best in math. The latest global ranking shows China among Far East countries and regions that dominate the top seven. The United States ranked 41st. U.S. educators cite cultural reasons. In mathematics, unlike in reading in the United States, it's still culturally um, sometimes acceptable, even fashionable sometimes for a person to say, and maybe even to their child, um, I wasn't very good in mathematics, or I'm not good in mathematics. Ask your, your mom, who's really good in mathematics, for help. Um, we would never say that about reading. We would never say, with regard to literacy, we're not the family that reads. In recent years, the U.S. government has promoted state-based common core standards, which in short, use standardized exam to motivate public school students in both math and English. But it's not without controversy. On a national and even international level, sometimes we put too much stake in, you know, a, a test score that, that um, you know, comes from, you know, one day uh, in the life of, of a child. So I don't think that spending instructional time just engaged in test prep, you know, kind of um, activities really works anymore. I mean, kids need to be engaged in mathematical reasoning and problem solving every single day. Back in Beijing, math teacher and founder of a cram school, Zhang Hanwen, says his business in raising scores is working, but he's conflicted. We teach under parents' pressure. As a teacher, I always hope to slow down and enhance the students' understanding and ability to apply the abstract math problems to their life. But as a businessman, I must meet the demands from my clients. Parents send their children here because they fear their children will be left behind compared to their peers who are all learning fast. Chinese and American teachers face different struggles, yet the same question. If test scores are just a means, why does it seem in both China and the West that it's become a critical end in itself? Han Peng, CGTN, from Beijing and Washington.